All right, this time I'm going to pause it. Turn on your microphone and just say, what, what's this about? What's going on? What do you see? She's pointing, like she's pointing to someone or something. Yeah. Okay, what emotions do you see? Scolding. I mean, she's scolding someone. Scolding yeah. somebody, yeah. Telling Accusing. somebody. Something. Authority. Accusing. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like oh, something. Correct. Yeah. She's blaming someone. She's yeah. blaming scolding. someone. Yeah. Accusing her, accusing someone of some mm -hmm. doing something. Yeah. She's blaming someone. Okay. She's ordering. Yeah. Ordering something. So look at all that. Look at what's going through the audience's mind just mm. from a simple thing like a hand. Mm. Now let's see how the play develops. Okay, what what do you see now? How do you how do you interpret what you see? It looks like she's trying, I mean she's uh, being bullying, accused maybe. or she's been bullying, bullying but bullying. nobody listens to her and bullying. the other girl is giving her the back so it's like she nobody really listens to her uh -huh. it seems very disturbing for her yeah. Yeah. one is ignoring the other feels bad and the hand is scolding mm. it's like a like a picture like a complete picture showing uh, all the emotions in yeah. one yes and i think it's very nice to see how um it's like the mind of the teenager like the, everyone is pointing at your flaws and I don't know if you read the book of Anne Frank, the diary, mm. but in the diary, she talks about how much uh, during the time she was in hiding, the adults were like pointing at her flaws and everything and how alone she felt. And I saw when I saw the, the, the video that you just showed, I remember that, that she felt so alone and seeing the girl next to the, the lady uh, giving the back to her uh, just gave me that idea that the, the teenager uh, felt alone. And it's a, a portrait of the mind of the teenager. Yeah, yeah. I think as well, when, I first, when you first see those images and the child doing this, you know, immediately it makes you feel uncomfortable and you think, what's going on, this seems really unbearable and it's going to be painful and maybe emotional. So all that's kind of yeah. running through your mind when you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it showed the stressful situation clearly and you could understand uh, the stress in the scene and uh, those um, children were so weak that they couldn't defend themselves against that power, something like that. Yeah. I felt like it went on and on. It was more than just one unkind, critical comment. And she was trying to protect herself. And it just felt quite violent for it to continue and continue when she was giving feedback that it was too much. So it was about too muchness. Mm. And that, what you've just said, um, Joe, it's interesting how that worked because of the technique of turning on one camera and then another and then another and then another and that you couldn't do that in face-to-face -face theater mm -hmm. you couldn't do it in the same you know this is pure remote theater this is how this is why I feel so excited about this art form because there are things you can do through remote theater that you can't do in face-to-face -face theater and I think that for a beginning of a play, that is outstanding. It's one of my one of my favorite beginnings to a play. Um, Nick, I wanted to ask if this yeah. could be a good example of using cause and effect, the way that 
one frame opens with an action and then when we see the girl with her hands over her ears it's sort of like the effect and then when another frame opens it shows the build-up it's sort of like a, a domino effect almost. yeah 